This instrument, the GCFID, can be used for analysis of biodiesel, specifically looking at the fatty acid methyl esters of the oil. So the main components of this GCFID are first, the auto sampler. Basically all your samples are placed on this. This automatically injects the samples into the column, which separates the analytes with chemical column interactions, and then the flame ionization detector, which is located inside here, you really can't see it, but this is what detects all the chemicals of interest. The three main gases that you're going to use for the GCFID are helium, which is your carrier gas. That should be set at 80 PSI, and there's a mark on the regulator. We've got hydrogen. That should be set at 35 PSI, and that's your fuel source. And your oxidant air, also for the FID, that should be set at 60 PSI. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is open up the Galaxy program. To do that, we need to double click on the user icon. This will open up the Galaxy uh, Chromatography Data System connection. And basically we should not have to change any parameters in here. The password is, there's nothing for the password, so we just want to click OK. Uh, the first thing to do to start up the GC system is go to the Systems tab at the bottom, left hand side. Click that and then check the Systems box. This will connect the computer to the GC. From there we want to open up and download the method that we're going to use. File, open, open method, and the method that we're going to be working with today is the biodiesel glycerin method. Double click that, that opens the method. Second thing we want to do is download it. We need to go to control, bottom left hand tab, click on overview, and then click on the red GC, which will download the, ins the computer parameters to the GC instrument. To start this method, we need to open up the sequence. File, open, open sequence. We're going to be using the ASTM D6584 sequence. We need to double check to make sure the method is the correct one under the sequence that it is, the biodiesel method. And we want to make sure that our sample types are unknown for these runs. And then we'll just click the, the green start button. And then this starts the sequence and should proceed with all the runs underneath this sequence. After the sequence list has been completed, we need to basically turn or shut down the GC or place it in a standby method. To do that, file, open method. There's a standby method that's been created. Double click on it. Again, left bottom left hand panel, control, overview, and click on the red GC and that will transfer the standby method parameters over to the gas chromatograph. 